Yeah, thank you very much for being here, for attending the session. Um, I'm uh, very happy to share these uh, little um, tools that we have developed. Um, and uh, I think I would start off by giving you a little bit of context where I come from. I'm an educator myself. I teach strategic management and leadership courses uh, with uh, 50 to 350 students. Uh, I favor inverted classroom very much, so I like my students to be engaged outside of the classroom so we can concentrate on discussions uh, while we are together uh, in the classroom. Uh, I, pro I provide uh, tons of activities in Moodle, um, partly optional, so they can choose by themselves uh, whether they want to do it or not. It's always a big complaint, tell me what I need to do rather than Okay, let me have a choice. Um, and I use Level Up. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Uh, it sort of gives you great points, experience points. Our learners can earn uh, experience points. And uh, I let them choose whether they want that to account for the final grade. And this could be up to 25%. So there's some kind of uh, pressure behind uh, solving these activities. And I reuse Moodle um, every semester. So I use the same course and set back uh, the user learner's data uh, in order to not, not to have too much uh, work and trouble. Um, yeah, and I, um, being uh, in this situation, in, in this context, uh, I favor due dates very much. So I like my learners to know, and my learners like that also very much, if you tell them, uh, when they're expected to do something. Um, that support obviously supports the scheduled learning process. Um, learners like to uh, procrastinate and um, have a tendency for bulimic learning uh, towards semester end. And I don't like that very much. I like them to, be, uh, to, to distribute their learning ac activities and their learning engagement more uh, over the semester. And the last issue here, this is actually what I'm going to talk about, is the pain. If you use due date, I think we all accept that due dates are a good idea for our learners because they simply help. Uh, however, um, when, it, uh, when it comes to the teacher, and the, the title of my talk is maybe a bit misleading because it's supporting scheduled learning means support for the teacher, not for the learner. Because um, if I... Uh, if I set uh, due dates every semester and you have uh, 100 or more activities, that's a very time consuming process. And that led me uh, to uh, develop a little, some tools which I want to share with you. Um, uh, first of all, the first idea if you want uh, due dates to be implemented uh, is maybe to use restricted access. We, we all know that activities can be restricted. However, the big drawback is um, the learners, late learners are excluded. If you restrict access and the learner misses the date, uh, you, want to, you want to penalize them, but not maybe that much. You, want to, you don't want to exclude them from the learning process. So that is obviously not the solution. So um, um, I rather used uh, activity completion dates. This is what I regularly do to set completion dates which is uh, the regular process here. And um, the, the, the advantage is um, they, they, don't have, they don't really have a consequence for the learner, how, apart from being visualized. And what I do, um, setting these activity completion dates, I use the completion progress, or formerly it was called uh, completion bar or something, or progress bar. Yeah? However, what I really like about this uh, pro completion progress uh, about the plugin is that it nicely displays um, the due dates and also missed due dates. So a red cross is sort of um, a little pressure to the students. Hey, there is something you need to do. Um, so, so this is uh, something where you can uh, impose a little bit of pressure to the students in order to uh, facilitate their learning process a little bit better. However, or I, um, when, it, um, when you look at the, the, um, the teacher's view of the progress bar here, uh, this was the learner's view, and if you look at the teacher's view, 
the, the plugin provides you with a, a good overview of the students. Yeah? So you can see what the progress of each student is. However, now again, if it comes to due dates, you know what happens? If the, if the learner uh, passes the activity, however late at the semester end, you will also see a green cross, a, a green hook here. Yeah? So you won't see who is late and who has uh, missed the deadlines. And if you set deadlines and there's no consequence, then there's obviously not very much of a, or not as much uh, as impact as it could be. So what we, the first plugin that we developed was um, we, in this overview of the teacher, uh, we have added a little, um, a little feature which shows you in the, um, in the, um, in the mouse over uh, functionality, if you move over to these uh, uh, elements here, there's a mouse over functionality which tells you which is the expected date and, and so forth. And um, what we have added is um, we have added the overdue uh, indication there with a little clock. Yeah? So as a teacher, you can see when that student uh, has completed the activity and whether he has completed it in time. So for, evaluation, for evaluating the learning process at semester end, I find that very useful um, to see who was, uh, who was after the green, um, uh, the green race at semester end. I was called it green race because in semester end, everybody tries to get as much green uh, um, icons here as possible. And this is the first plugin that we have implemented. And it's... Uh, it's an optional uh, thing. You can, um, you can set it here in the, uh, in the settings um, in order to have it displayed or not. However, the drawback is the lead maintainer of the progress bar, the former lead maintainer of the progress uh, completion or completion progress, uh, he was not too fond of the idea to add more, uh, um, uh, more options here and he declined to integrate it. So you have to, um, you have to download it and you have to uh, combine it with the, official, with the official plugin that's in the, um, the plugin directory. The next thing, and that's, that's, it, that is maybe the most effective thing that we have done, we have implemented an activity due date bulk editor. That means uh, when I move from one semester to the other, then I can, um, this plugin um, uh, shows you all the activities that are in the course um, and you can move every activity um, forward or backward uh, and you can select them manually or you can move them all. And that is very, very helpful when it comes to um, the maintenance, the course maintenance at the semester end. Um, and uh, the last one um, I'm, uh, that we have developed, are you using question and answer forums? Uh, it's a very good tool because um, a very good feature uh, because it allows students only to see uh, what's in the forum once they have uh, assigned, uploaded their own uh, contribution. However, when it comes to resetting the forum and if you have added it to uh, level up and so forth, you have to uh, rework it every semester because um, if you set it back, all the contributions are gone. And if you set up a question and answer forum, the first, uh, um, the first threat has always to be from the teacher. Yeah? And what we have developed is uh, a, a, small feature, a small tool here which can reset a forum. However, you can choose whether to keep the first post which leaves you uh, the question and answer forum intact. Uh, and what I always um, uh, post there is also the, um, some feedback uh, uh, and some uh, sample, um, sample results and so forth. Yeah, I'm nearly done uh, and really good in time. Um, how to get it? I think you will all have access to the slides here. Uh, and you can take a photo. I didn't come up to the idea to, to produce a QR code. However, next presentation, I promise, uh, that will be done. Um, whenever you have interest, I think you can always, uh, always send me an email. 
Uh, there's also something that you can access me to. And um, before I go, if anybody, anybody took the photo, however, you will have access to the slides anyhow. Huh? Um, so my, you may also send me an email. But before I go, I also want to mention, because I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher myself and we have developed also other things. Uh, for instance, we have developed um, PowerPoint to H5P converter because I felt that uh, all my presentations that I had were in PowerPoint. And if you, if you want to transform them into H5P to have them online and, and to add some interactive content, that is very nice. However, um, this tool uh, uh, takes a lot of work from you uh, doing that. Otherwise, um, it is a very, um, a very um, challenging and it costs you a lot of energy. And what I also developed, uh, I have one minute, uh, I'm one minute over time. It's a quiz challenge, which, which is, I don't know if you're familiar with the app Quiz Duel, where you have questions and you can find an opponent which uh, you also has to answer the questions. We have implemented that for a course so you can uh, have a quiz duel between your students, yeah? given um, questions that you find appropriate for that. And last but not least, I'm interested in developing, and we're currently doing it, a generic simulation tool which could be used to simulate certain processes in Moodle. Whoever is interested, please let me know. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you very much for the talk. The bulk date editor tool, does that work on relative dates or absolute dates? So could I say, I want these activities completed on week one of the course start date or something like that? You can select uh, whether you would set it by seconds, minutes, uh, weeks, days, uh, forward or backward. So that gives you the opportunity to roughly set about everything that you need. Yeah? Does that answer your question? But, but it always, yeah, if you, you once need to have a structure. So I have a weekly structure, and from that on, I move everything forward, and whenever there's a public holiday, or you have to do some fine-tuning. However, um, it, yeah, yeah, it, push, it pushes everything backward and forward however you like it. 